structure of atom. Electron is a negatively charged particle. Electron was discovered by J. J. Thomson and named by J. S. Tony. Proton was a positively charged particle. Proton was discovered by Goldstein. Atoms are electrically neutral. J. J. Thomson was the first one to propose a model for the structure of an atom. J. J. Thomson proposed that electrons are embedded in a positive sphere. Rutherford's alpha particle scattering experiment led to the discovery of the atomic nucleus. Rutherford's model of atom proposed that a very tiny nucleus is present inside the atom and electrons revolve around this nucleus. The stability of atom could not be explained by Rutherford's model of atom. Niels Bohr proposed a model of the atom. Accordingly, electrons revolve around the nucleus in definite paths called orbits or energy levels. Shells of an atom are designated as K, L, M, N and so on. The size of the nucleus is very small as compared to the size of the atom. James Chuckwit discovered the neutrons. Neutron have no charge. The mass of nucleus is derived from the number of protons and neutrons it contains. The mass of proton and a neutron is taken as one unit each. The mass of electron is about 1 by 2000 times the mass of a hydrogen atom. According to Bohr-Bury rules, the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in orbit is given by 2n square, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. The outermost orbit cannot have more than 8 electrons. The atomic number of an element is the same as the number of protons in the nucleus of its atom. Mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. Isotopes are defined as the atoms of same element having the same atomic number but different mass numbers. Example 6C12 6C13, 6C14. An atom X have atomic number Z and mass number A. Then it is represented as ZXA. Isobars are atoms having the same mass number but different atomic numbers. Example 6C14. 7N14 Isotopes have many applications in our daily life. Activity A To demonstrate the phenomena of electrostatic attraction using a comb and small pieces of paper. Materials required A comb, small pieces of paper Procedure Comb dry hair vigorously about 30 seconds Bring the comb near small pieces of paper and observe if the comb attracts the paper Repeat the procedure with different comb and different pieces of paper if available. Precautions The hair should be completely dry for this activity. 
The comb should be clean and dry. Care should be taken while combing the hair to avoid any injury. The pieces of paper should be small and light enough to be attracted by the comb. Activity Aim To demonstrate the phenomena of electrostatic attraction using a glass rod, silk cloth and an inflated balloon. Materials required A glass rod a silk cloth, an inflated balloon. Procedure Rub the glass rod with the silk cloth for about 30 seconds. Bring the glass rod near the inflated balloon and observe what happens. Repeat the procedure with a different glass rod and silk cloth if available. Precaution the glass rod and silk cloth should be clean and dry. The balloon should be fully inflated. Care should be taken while rubbing the glass rod to avoid any injury. The glass rod and balloon should not be touched with wet hands as it can affect the results. <laughs>